Hi, welcome to Wellness. I am your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, and special people. Today I am joined by the amazing Gianna Palmiteri, who Hi. is an actress, a producer, and a performance uh, coach. Yes. Welcome, Gianna. Thank you for having me, Linda. Oh, it's my pleasure. So we have been working together uh -huh. uh, in the past. You're helping me get my health back on track. Right. And then, of course, I felt that you were so calm and inspirational. So oh, you and I you. got to be talking, and then I shared what I do, and yeah. we are having a really a lovely you know, transition in between health and mental health. Yeah, when we absolutely. speak, and uh, so that's what we're here really um, here to talk about today on mm -hmm. how to mm -hmm. share some tips and what I've learned as a producer, actress, and a performance coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that the most important thing for right now, in this time of women's lives, mm -hmm. is to find balance. And I know people have said that for many years. Right. You know, recently I've been watching this show called My Brilliant Friend. Uh -huh. It's on HBO and it's on a book by Elena Ferrante. She wrote uh -huh. a series of them. Uh -huh. And they have turned it into a beautiful series, a limited series on HBO. Mm -hmm. And what strikes me the most with it, it takes place in the 1950s, mm -hmm. is that the women were so repressed mm -hmm. back in the 50s and in the 60s. And we have come such a long way. Right. Right. And now we have taken on so much right. that it's starting to weigh us down. Right. And it's starting to be counterproductive mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. think we, we have to do it all. And I know people have been saying this, and women have been saying this for a long time. And actually, Michelle uh, Obama, mm -hmm. uh, Barack o Michelle Obama, mm -hmm. wrote a book called Becoming. Mm -hmm. She talks about the leaning in movement, mm -hmm. where you have to define who you are, mm -hmm. what you are as a mother, mm -hmm. as a woman, mm -hmm. and as a working entity. Right. And so I think our message today is to try and share my experiences, your experiences, and perhaps help some, some working and non-working mothers uh, on how they can keep balance. Right. And perhaps, you know, entice some non-working mothers who are staying in the home, working, of course, in the home, but not out in the offices, how they can perhaps enter the field again, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. How women who are working outside the home mm -hmm. can slow down a bit and realize the gold that can be found in the home, keeping control of their children and their their domain. Right. Because it uh, it slips away, it slips away and it becomes unruly. It can. It so, very much. And you have a tremendous amount of responsibility and coordination simultaneously. Oh, I'm, I'm trying at know, all times. It's it started it started out where I was working full time as an actress mm -hmm. and I always produced on the side in my twenties. Mm -hmm. Then I got married and being traditional, that's mm -hmm. why the mm -hmm. the my brilliant friend is so um, inspirational to me, is because I was raised in a very traditional Italian mm -hmm. very Italian from Italy mm -hmm. uh, upbringing. Right. And so I always thought that being a wife and mother was very important as well as a career woman. Uh -huh. And being in the new generation, I was all career. It was all mm -hmm. about career. Then as soon as I had my children, I had Dante first, I was stricken by this feeling of just wanting to protect him and stay home. So when my, right. soap, my daytime drama called up again and said, would you like to come back? He was about six months old. I always thought I'd go back. Uh -huh. And... I was doing other TV shows and auditioning. It's a very difficult life being an actress, and I could not go back. Right. It was right. the first time in my life that I had to make such a choice in my career, and I chose motherhood. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, being the workaholic that I am, I put everything into being a mother. Mm -hmm. Then I had uh, my daughter, Gabriella, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. six years later, mm -hmm. and I worked in between as right. a producer. That's where I learned how to produce because I could control my own hours and my own projects. Right. And then, of course, I was inundated with a big home, taking care of things, and I just, hook, line, and sinker, fell into mother mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I did it well, mm -hmm. but now my career is calling again, and it's time for me to re-enter. So I have, and that's where all the chaos happens. I have <laughs> teenagers, college students, uh, you know, just a lot of um, demands at the house. Mm -hmm. Even just maintaining a home is, is difficult sure. enough. Sure. You know, Absolutely. keeping everything in order, dogs, cats, <laughs> deliveries, people, my mother, sure. my family. But then there's my career, which is mm -hmm. every afternoon. And it, it really poses a lot of problems. 
because I have other kids as I am a performance coach who need coaching and audition help quickly because auditions happen every day and they're very unpredictable so right. I have to run and uh, get some some people ready for their auditions sure then the other thing is my children are also performers my mm -hmm. daughter's an actress and a singer mm -hmm. <clears throat> my son is a songwriter and an actor mm -hmm. my husband's a big actor mm -hmm. Chaz Palm and Terry mm -hmm. so we have a very busy life mm -hmm. shooting and scheduling and auditioning and running mm -hmm. and uh, that is the that's the trick that's the trick that's the trick trying to keep it all together Oh, you're absolutely amazing what you've shared with me in terms of what you do simultaneously well, in, it, in know, all that's, venues. That's the, that's the first part, doing it. Mm -hmm. The second part is handling it, and the third part is handling it well. Right. And keeping right. your sanity. Right. And that's the tricky part because on top of just the schedule and the demands that we impose on ourselves as women, mm -hmm. we also have the holidays to contend with. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there's this lovely channel called the Hallmark Channel, <laughs> where you turn it on and it's instantaneously Christmas and perfect and Hanukkah. I know it well. And there's the holidays and there's perfect <laughs> right. snow on the ground and sure. perfect, perfect homes everything. with the perfect decorations <laughs> and the cookies. And perfect everything. No one's cleaning, no one's fighting, no one's bickering. <laughs> and at the right. end they find true love. And that's really not real life. It's, no. a, f it's a fun escape. Mm -hmm. But sure, who does the decorating? Right. Who? Right. Who does? We do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> or help with some husbands do it, some some wives do it, some kids help. There's a lot of people who are single family homes now. How do mm -hmm. they keep up with all the demands of the holiday season? Oh, I agree. There's so much, a uh, tremendous amount of multitasking at the same time being present right. and focused. So these are yeah. the things that I've come up with to help right. because I feel like it's a little too much. Yeah. The first thing is to schedule a party, some sort of casual cookie ugly sweater party that will bring everyone together and do that you know towards the end of the season mm -hmm. and then realize the kind of person you are do you want a lot of fanfare do you want a little bit who is going to come and then you base the month around this one party uh -huh. that you will throw for your friends right and that is the gift you give to each other to see each other to spend time together right. you can do a secret santa you can do Hanukkah gifts, mm -hmm. whichever way you choose to celebrate, mm -hmm. uh, Kwanzaa gifts, you can mm -hmm. do anything you want. But the important thing is to have a little party, mm -hmm. not too close to the beginning of the year, so you can get a lot of things done, and make that the gift to each other. Mm -hmm. So in order to be ready for the party, you will decide on how you want your home to be decorated. Mm -hmm. And if you work many hours, keep it very simple. Right. Have everyone bring something. Right. And just put up a wreath if you can't ti have time to put up a lot of decorations right. or candles, get some cookies, get a couple of hors d'oeuvres, make a punch and everyone will come together and spend hours together and that's your gift. Right. And once you, once you get over that isolation of right. everyone running separate ways, not getting together, once you come together in some sort of social event, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be in the home, it could be in a restaurant, just organize mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. If everyone organizes a different time to get together. Mm -hmm. We all come together and we find the meaning of the season. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's no longer just about being isolated and doing and gifts giving that are not even important. It's about going and being together as people. Once mm -hmm. you connect with other people, the stress is already taken out right. half the time. And it doesn't have to be a lot of people. Right. That It can be few people. But I think being social, making a point of forcing everyone to come together, whether it's family, friends, mm -hmm or even a club that you own, you belong to. Right. Helps lift your mood, helps mm -hmm. slow you down, and mm -hmm. helps you connect with what is really important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. that's a little trick I've learned that helps uh, really cherish what time we have together. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you have a little argument with someone, try to forget it. Right. Uh, if the house is messy, put it in the closet. Right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sure. What matters is connection, because I think we are too busy, we are too stressed, and we're not slowing down enough and forcing ourselves to slow down and connect with our friends and family is one of the most beneficial things you can do mm -hmm. this time of year. It helps you stay a little less depressed, mm -hmm. a little less stressed. And frazzled. A little less frazzled. Yeah. See your kids more right. or less, but you can see friends more. Right. You can see family more. It just, right. it just whatever works for you, but do something. Go outside the box and do something that's a bit social, right. that's a bit out of the norm. Right. 
Absolutely. And I think that helps me a little bit, even though I'm sure. it's a little stressful to get ready for an event yeah. or a party. It's very right. casual, but it does. I love the feeling when I am there on a Sunday afternoon with people around, whether we go to a restaurant or to a club or even bowling. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Just do something that's not in the norm mm -hmm. that you bring people together. Right. And, and all of your responsibilities as an actress, producer, with coordination of your young kids. Well, for me, yes, for me, that's definitely a um, plus because I love doing that. Yeah. Well, you have time for Gianna time? I mean, very good. Yeah, I'm carving out some time for myself okay. thanks to your coaching. Oh. Um, <laughs> no. I am carving some time out for myself. Right. I think for me it's important to carp, uh, compartmentalize. Very. Just, yeah, absolutely. this is something I like to do for myself and I'll do it. Right. It's not a big event. It's just go and do something. I mean, everyone has to know their their inner voice. Uh -huh. Are you do you, some women really do have great boundaries, and mm -hmm. they can form these boundaries with their family, friends, their children, mm -hmm. and themselves. And some like me, are I'm involved in everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to be have my hand in everything, mm -hmm. which makes less time for me. Mm -hmm. And that's my challenge, that's to find challenge. more time to just detach, not worry. Not worry. And for me, throwing that party does that. Right. I don't know why that's the way it is, but I love having the people around me. Right. I love having friends around, and that reminds me of what we're here for. It does. I like that idea about compartmentalizing. Compartmentalizing. I like that very yeah, much. Yeah, I just write down, like, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to do, do it. So right now I'm writing a screenplay that's a bit behind because of all the pressure. So January... I compartmentalize, uh -huh. and that's what's going on. I'm that's writing, it. I'm that's finishing right. the script, and then I start taking meetings, and we start developing that film. Wow. Next year. Fantastic. Yeah, it's great. We just I finished know. another project out in Los Angeles. My husband and I are involved in a new project for TV out in Paramount, so we're hoping that will get pushed through. I, um, my husband just finished a run on A Bronx Tale, the musical, so right. now that's on right. tour throughout oh, the nation. Yeah. So that's fun. We stop right. in different cities and we get to see our cast. And yeah. I love the cast. Yeah. And watching my husband and Alan Menken yeah. and Glenn Slater mm -hmm. create the book and the lyrics and the music and mm -hmm. was just a gift to me because to watch them create and work and they did it out of a place of love and fun and such professionalism that it was very inspirational. No, so, no, and they I mean, were at it for a while. It didn't come easy. Wow. They're very creative and they're going to hopefully do another project. So. It's nice to have my project, his project, my children's oh, sure. projects going on. We're, you're so yeah. unbelievably accomplished. Well, we have um, um, about two minutes to wrap oh, up. Oh, great. Is there anything you'd like to share um, with my viewers? Let's see. I would like to say to all the viewers out there that it's a, it's a, it's a very wonderful time to be alive. We're forming and we're creating new boundaries as humans and as women. And I think women today are going to start leading the way. Mm -hmm. I think that we are figuring out how to do a little more efficiently, a little more calmly, a little more centered, and we need to take back our families and our children and be there for them and each other mm -hmm. because the world is a little bit chaotic now. It is. So we're changing and, and anytime there's chaos there's also healing. And I think we're going to be the healers. So we need to hunker down, take care of ourselves, and keep our families close because that's the future. Those are wonderful words oh, and so you. wise for the holiday. Thank, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for, for having me. Here, it's, a it's a pleasure, and we will continue to work together. Yes, it's a pleasure thank to have you, you here. Thanks. Remember when you eat well and feel well, select great foods and become physically active. It's something you want to do for the rest of your life. As Gianna says, balance and moderation is key. Thank you so much. Have a great night.